Welcome to the verse of the day. May you be blessed as you receive it. Welcome to today's verse of the day, read by my son Enoch. Matthew 11, verse 28 says, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Now, Dad, what, what does this rest mean when we're in these pandemic times and we're all so stressed out and working all the time in our houses? How are we supposed to get rest? Yeah, a lot of people may be wondering that they might not feel too restful, even though they're not going to work. Actually, it seems that right now people are probably more stressed because you have the fear combined with the stresses of many other things going on at this time. Worries about the economy, worries about where am I going to get my next paycheck, where am I going to get food? So what kind of rest is Jesus talking about here? I think he answers that in the next verse, verse 29. He says, take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. So I think Jesus wants to address an internal rest that is very fleeting, that we're not going to get by putting our eyes and our hopes on this world, but actually by putting our eyes on him. As he says there, there's a yoke he wants us to take, something that he wants us to learn from him so that we can find that true, lasting, deep rest that he wants for us. Yeah, so uh, I guess with a little bit of free time that we do have, instead of trying to get this worldly satisfaction from material things, maybe it's a better idea to check out the scriptures and meditate on them to find some of that uh, real rest. Absolutely. I think this is the prime time for that in the midst of our hustle and bustle and busy schedule. We should really take out some good chunk of time to pray and to meditate on Jesus' word. He says here in verse 30 that his yoke is easy, his burden is light. So what he wants us to do and want us to learn from it is actually going to be easier on us than whatever yoke it is that we're trying to take upon ourselves. Yeah, I really appreciate the, the gentle and, and kind nature of, of this entire scripture that he's, he's not really threatening us or forcing us to follow him, but uh, he's telling us kindly that he wants us, and, and it's up to us really to make that decision. Absolutely. It's a beautiful invitation, you know. Learn from me, he says, I'm gentle, I'm humble. That's not the way that the world treats us. <laughs> well, I hope that you guys uh, find some time, maybe today or maybe next week or maybe every day, to really look into Jesus and see what this yoke is that he wants us to take upon ourselves. It's going to end up being better for us all, easier on our life, lighter on our soul, and you're going to really find true rest that we need all the time, but especially at this time. Have a great day. God bless you. God bless. I pray you have been blessed by the insight you received from today's verse of the day. Walk with the Lord and be a blessing.